Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So, um, today is November the 6th, 2020, and um, what I want to talk to you about today is, um, I said in one of my other videos, I had to start cleaning out the greenhouse. So, um, while I was cleaning out the greenhouses, I came across a praying mantis cocoon, and uh, this has a little baby praying mantis in. Now, this has about uh, 100 to 200 praying mantis in it and I found one in the new greenhouse um, on some marigolds so um, I'm not sure if this right here is the praying mantis that had laid the eggs or not but um, praying mantises normally live for about a year and then in colder climates they lay their eggs in autumn and then um, they normally die now, uh, we've had a very unseasonably warm year this year for um, our fall time, which normally, by now, it's cold. It's in the 20s. We did have some snow. We're kind of like on a roller coaster ride. We had snow and cold like in the 20s, but um, the greenhouses are heated. So I've been finding praying mantises in the greenhouses. So I don't know, you know, if... Um, they think that it's still warm out or what. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see um, what they do. It's possible that the eggs will actually hatch in the greenhouse before it's even springtime. So I'll uh, have to wait and see um, what they do and how that happens with them. Now, uh, praying mantis, they eat crickets, grasshoppers, butterflies, spiders, um, wasps, bees, leafhoppers. Um, they have been known to eat hummingbirds already and small birds and um, like frogs and stuff. So um, they're not too picky about what they eat. And they'll eat pretty much any kind of insect that there is. Now um, the little ones, when they first hatch, will eat smaller bugs than what the bigger ones will eat. So, I haven't seen, there used to be a little toad, well, he was a bigger toad in here, and I haven't seen him for a little while, so, um, I'm not exactly sure what happened with him. But this praying mantis here is waiting for a meal kind of looking around and it's kind of just waiting for a, a meal to come in here. And um, I have seen a decrease in the number of flies and wasps that are normally in um, the old greenhouse. I don't know if this is making a meal out of them or what. Um, there is a, a pretty big wolf spider in here. And uh, I know that helps to uh, keep down certain pests, but um, I'm not sure if it's still in here or not now that the praying mantis is in here. Because they kind of hide and you don't always see them. Now they say these are pretty much harmless to humans, like they don't have um, venom or anything like that. But I have seen where if they're provoked, they will attack. So um, it's best to just leave them alone and... Uh, you know, let them kind of do their own thing. So, um, not going to, you know, provoke it or anything like that. Just going to let it go and I'll let it go on its merry little way there. And then it decided to go on the straw flower plant there. I did see one the one day it had, uh, I think it was a, some kind of butterfly in its, um, clenched in its leg there and it was using its other leg to pull it up through uh, the fences and it was crawling around holding on to its prey. Now um, these will eat ladybugs and different things so um, I have to watch like with the ladybugs but um, they're really good for keeping down pests and stuff and um, you know they so it is one thing I'm gonna have to watch is uh, with the ladybugs because we welcome natural predators in the greenhouses and um, 
we had last year, we had the ladybug larvas in here from the ladybugs, and uh, they were helping to control pests. And that's the thing, for me, I want to try and, you know, get the good uh, predators in here to help control the pests so I don't have to use neem oil or something like that to spray with if something, you know, gets in or, and keeping, uh, keeping the good guys in here is what, uh, what I want to do. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. I'll tie up what new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye!